Oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not crying with sadness. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh gosh. Ugh. Because of some ruddy strong onions. Ooh. They were strong ones. Wow. Ugh. I feel like I've eaten them raw. Whew. Anyway. Here's the little blighters over here. That's all the skins. I've got four red onions, which I've just... Oh. <coughs> sorted out. So, what am I going to be making? I'm going to be making... What do you reckon? After yesterday's scones, yeah, you guessed, red onion chutney. So, if you can bear to cry for five minutes, <laughs> you'll be able to make these. So, excuse my horrible bin to get rid of that for the bin men. Right, so you need to slice quite finely some red onions, depending on how much you want to make. And then you're going to need um, a sterilised jar, Ooh. some granulated sugar, some salt, some, um, oh god, what's this, balsamic vinegar, I've got this type, I got that from Lidl, and I've got some red wine vinegar, and malt vinegar, well I haven't got any malt vinegar, but I've got this really great pickling vinegar so I'm going to use that because I need to get rid of it so I'm not going to go out and buy malt vinegar I'll use that so I'm going to slice up all my slice up all my onions and then I will come back to you had a thought just in case you're wondering I've got my onion cut it in half and I'm slicing them that way across so just thinly slicing across until you get to the end and then tip it you want to chop your fingers and there we go and then the same with this one all right oh my god they're so strong <laughs> so once you've sliced your onions and you've had another good ball <laughs> get some tissues <laughs> oh Wash your hands under cold water. That will help eliminate that smell to stay on your hands. So before you do anything else, wash your hands in cold water. Not hot, you want cold water you want. And just under the tap, no soap, just run them under the cold water. Not for long. And that will eliminate some of that onion smell off your hands. You know tomorrow it's like, oh God, my hands stink of onions. Right, so I'm now going to put my onion in a big pan with some spray light. Turn it on high. my record is flashing at me and I don't know why it's doing it so I'm hoping this is going to blooming record right so I've got my onions on I'm going to cook those down I'm going to put the lid on cook them down so they start going on uh, taking on a nice colour and then I'll come back to you give them about 10-15 minutes right sorry I'm on my breakfast <laughs> I've got some overnight oats I don't normally eat overnight oats I normally have overnight brown flakes um, but I've run out, so I'm having overnight oats with strawberries, cherries, blackberries, and I've got a fruit flavoured yogurt in there and some almond milk. So I made that last night, obviously, overnight. Anyway, 
onions. Here's our onions. They're starting to colour, as you can see. Can you see that? Yeah. Starting to take on some colour. So we're now going to add the rest of our ingredients. So I'm just going to take it off because I don't want it to sizzle up when I put in the vinegars. So, get a teaspoon. Now, fill and then garlic. I'm going to put some garlic in there. I've got four, four good sized garlic. So crush those in. If you haven't got fresh garlic, then just use garlic paste, uh, a puree, um, garlic salt, whatever you've got really. I tend to find the garlic salt isn't that strong. Not for me. I have to put quite a lot in. There we go, so that's our garlic in. So I keep looking up because I'm a bit worried about the blooming video. Give that a stir in. Then we want some salt. So you want a good, good two pinches of salt. Just table salt I'm using. You can put sea salt in there, salt flakes stir around and then the spices I'm going to put in is cumin and coriander and I'm going to put oh this is a new one god teaspoon of each Teaspoon don't fit in and they don't want to come out. <laughs> there we go. Then give that a stir. Put some sugar. I'm going to put in two dessert spoons, two heaped dessert spoons. Red wine vinegar. I'm putting a cup, just under a cup of red wine vinegar. I'll just give this a shake. Half a cup of balsamic. Mine's quite a watery balsamic. Half a cup of that. And then I've got my white vinegar. And just under a cup of that going in. Then I'm going to pop it back on the heat and bring it back up to the boil. Give it a good stir around. And I'm going to crack in some pepper as well. Now I'm going to put the lid on that. Once it's come up to boil, I'm going to turn it down and simmer it for about 30 minutes until it's gone really thick and all that water, not water, the, the, the um, liquid <laughs> has evaporated because at the moment there's quite a lot in there that you can see. So let's get that back on there. Put the lid on. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down to simmer, leave it half an hour and then we'll come back to it. Right, it's been about half an hour and all the liquid has nearly gone. There's a tiny little bit in there if you squeezed it, but it's still not caramelised enough for me. So I'm going to keep cooking it down. I will keep timing it. Um, I have taken the lid off. Um, because I think it will um, caramelise thicker without the lid, um, quicker and, and better, I think. So I've still got it on, so I'll come back to you in 10 minutes and show you where we are with that. Right, so I think we're there. That's me 
looks pretty much how I want my chutney to look. It's not as dark as a lot of chutneys, but I didn't use malt vinegar. I used white vinegar, so that's probably why it's not as dark. But I'm happy with that consistency and um, that colour. So, I have changed my jar for a, one like this, because I think it'd be easier to get it in and out of. So, um, I'm just going to get a spoon. And I'm going to jar it up. This has been sterilised in the dishwasher, this um, this jar. I mean, I haven't got masses, but there's only two of us, so, you know, I don't want masses and masses of it, because we just won't get and eat it. That's plenty for us. So, you know, this will go nice on a Slimming World burger. That would be really lovely. Um, or with the cheese scones that I made previously. Um, that was my intention of making these, was to go with the cheese scones uh, with a ploughman's lunch. You know, a bit of onion gravy um, goes well with a lot of things. You know, a bit of some meat or some um, gammon or something like that. There's lots of things, pretty versatile that you can use it for. So all I'll do now is pop the lid on and then I'm going to pop that in the fridge and there we go. Red onion chutney. Homemade, beautiful. Ready to put on your plate. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell so you get notifications and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.